there are some pieces of legendary equipment in rise of kingdoms that are actually worse than a much cheaper piece of epic equipment so today we're gonna go over 22 pieces of legendary equipment that you should pretty much never ever craft these are actually some of the worst pieces of equipment in the entire game but first what's going on guys cheers once again I want to remind you I'm doing a giveaway for the month of August click the link in the description below all you have to do is follow me on my social media accounts that is literally it and one lucky subscriber will win a hundred dollars can you guys believe that it's been since December of 2021 since I talked about the worst equipment in the game it's been almost two years this video is way overdue so without further ado let's talk about the trial of the lost kingdom we're just gonna get this one out of the way okay this is an absolute joke of a legendary weapon now the only good thing about the trial of the lost kingdom is that uh, you don't have to forge it you can literally just straight up purchase this from the vip 16 special bundle okay and this bundle is a hundred dollars you have to spend a hundred dollars dude i would much rather have some legendary equipment material choice chests and if there were some in here i might actually consider buying it even though you don't have to spend materials to forge this piece you get it by just spending money it only gives you 15 percent cavalry defense and if you take a look at the heart of the saints you'll see that this actually gets you up to 17 percent of cavalry defense when it has the special talent and this is an epic piece of equipment which means you're going to be getting these blueprints over time just by doing events by playing the game by getting lucky so this purple piece is literally better than this legendary piece and as far as i know there's no way to get a special talent on the trial of the lost kingdom right i mean like you can't get blueprints for this and you're not forging it so there's no crit chance so you're stuck at 15 percent here it's actually worse even the vanguard halberd brother this green piece will give you up to 12 percent of cavalry stats and some of it is cavalry health which is just better than flat out defense and it's also part of a set here so you're gonna get two percent cavalry attack on top of that so really i just don't i don't know who this piece is for i don't know who it's for it's for people who just want to throw a hundred dollars in the garbage i guess i don't know anyway let's move on to the one other legendary weapon that i think is one of the worst weapons in the game and that is the scepter of the glorious goddess okay now this is a relatively newer piece of uh, of equipment in the game and it gives you 15 percent troop attack and three percent 3% infantry march speed as if an infantry main player was going all in on attack okay infantry players have plenty of ways to get attack on their weapon and in fact they can really only get attack on their weapon unless they're using the blue gatekeeper shield okay besides this they have okay boom attack from by the way this is a shield how do you have attack on a shield that makes no sense we have attack on the hammer we have attack on the soccer fubuki okay infantry has a ton of ways of get, getting attack so really you're never going to craft this as an infantry player so who is this for okay this is 90 legendary materials cavalry also have a much better attack piece that they can go for and you also have a really nice defense piece for archers so this piece is literally just for players who are in a mixed garrison or are defending their own city uh and that's just never you never want to make equipment for that specific scenario unless you are an absolute giga chad whale okay uh so 99.999 percent of you watching this video should never craft this piece of trash it is an ex insanely expensive piece for a below par stat and yes you do have some set bonus here okay but really it's such a niche role and you have so many other better pieces here for most of the game just don't get this piece okay let's move on to the helmets first we got to talk about the fierce wolf's helmet okay uh, i am so disappointed with the fierce wolf set because it looks so cool it looks insane brother you can literally put a wolf's skull on your head and it's covered in gold jewelry that's super cool except it gives you siege unit attack what do you mean siege unit attack wolves can't manage a, a siege weapon okay this makes no sense at all why would the wolf set be for siege 
Marines, bro. Why? This set is for those Krakens that invested in the ranged troops and ranged troops have been very unpopular in Rise of Kingdom. Some of you might not even know what I'm talking about. That's how unpopular they are because no one talks about them. But we have Margaret and we have Bobber. Okay. These are engineering commanders they have uh skills that uh, work at range here and basically they're not good rise of kingdoms tried to make ranged combat a thing and possibly they will release more ranged commanders in the future but i don't think the community really liked it all that much it's very slow gameplay it's very boring it's such a niche role and building a legendary helmet even though it looks cool like this is so oh my god 60 legendary materials for siege equipment absolutely not absolutely not don't do this and the other helmet that you should never craft is the diadem of the glorious goddess i don't know if i pronounced that right diadem i'm sorry i'm very very low iq on the omni arc channel but once again we see the glorious goddess with an attack piece it is a universal attack piece which tells us that this is mainly for people who are doing mixed garrisons uh, or defending their own city and again definitely not the way to go we have cavalry march speed which implies that this might potentially want to be used by a cab player but guess what pride of the con is giga chat and we also have war helm of the hellish wasteland which is a set piece this is also giga chad these are really good pieces okay tons of cav defense why would you get universal uh att attack and it's such a small amount here it's embarrassing how bad this set is and it is 60 legendary materials plus 20 million gold absolutely not this piece is horrible do not ever craft this unless again you are the 0.001 percent of people watching this that has spent six figures on rise of kingdoms because that's i mean there's just no excuse for this piece all right moving on to the chest pieces we got to talk about the shadow legions retribution this gives you 12 percent cavalry attack and great news that is not good okay it's just not now the thing about this is you can possibly get this from the tavern for free which makes it very tempting until you consider that the dark lord's blessing with a special talent gives you 10.5 percent cavalry defense which is much better in the open field or at least on par with 12 percent cavalry attack now the reason that we're comparing the special talent to dark lords is because look i have 10 blueprints of this it might feel like it's hard to get in the early game but you are going to get these blueprints over time and you will be able to guarantee a special talent for your dark lords blessing if not once but multiple times and the same can't really be said for the shadow legions retribution okay this is again 60 legendary materials it is so much more expensive than the dark lords blessing it's actually insane and not only that if you wanted a legendary cavalry chest piece the heavy armor of the hellish wasteland is 11 percent cavalry health this is infinitely better than the shadow legion's retribution and it's a set piece which gives you a bunch of amazing hellish wasteland set bonuses and i understand that this is potentially harder to get your hands on or it is it's definitely harder to get your hands on than the shadow legion's retribution but because this and this are basically the same in terms of open field fighting potential you might as well just hold on to your dark lord's blessing until you can get your hands on the heavy armor of the hellish wasteland wait for those golden egg events so you can get some blueprints all right uh this is just there's no excuse to get the shadow legions retribution so please save your legendary materials now just a quick side note here okay and i'm gonna mention this because i feel like if i don't someone's gonna put it in the comment section uh the only advantage that the shadow legions retribution has over the dark lord's blessing is that you can put an iconic crystal into your shadow legions retribution which will give you three more base defense points so you will literally have more stats with the shadow legions retribution more base stats um and that applies for any time that i'm comparing a legendary piece to an epic piece but the problem with that argument is that your iconic crystals first of all putting an iconic crystal in something is expensive 20 million gold and you're also not going to get that many iconic crystals okay for those of you that have been playing for a while maybe you've collected quite a few but you as a new player and even for free-to-play players there's not going to be that many of them and you don't want to waste it on shadow legion retribution you absolutely do not okay so i don't think that's a great argument technically yes it could be more stats but just don't do it all right let's move on to the 
gloves here and there are lots of gloves in this game that you should not be crafting okay we're not even going to talk about the Knights battle warrant because we're talking about just legendaries in this video if you made the mistake with this it's a hard lesson to learn but whatever sacred grips gives you eight percent infantry defense and great news Seth's brutality which is an epic piece of gear with the special talent will give you 7.5 percent infantry defense and it's significantly cheaper 40 epic materials compared to 40 legendary materials it's like a quarter of the price it's actually insane how much cheaper the Seth's brutality is for half a point less of infantry defense right unless you get really lucky and get a special talent on the first craft but even then you don't really want it because you could just save up for the eternal empire set because even though this gives you the exact same amount of stats as Seth's brutality at least the eternal empire is a set so you will get set bonuses by crafting this so that's an upgrade all in on its own and this even though it is a side upgrade same amount of stats here you can put the iconic crystal in this so there's literally no reason to get sacred grips it is a useless piece in rise of kingdoms you're better off holding on to Seth's brutality and using that until you can craft the set gloves and that brings us to Ian's choice and this is literally the archer's version of sacred grips okay eight percent archer attack and here we have 4.5 percent archer attack which is bumped up to six percent when it has a special talent so yes it is two percent lower but it's a set piece so you actually gain bonus stats by having the four piece revival sets so there's literally such a small advantage of getting the Ian's choice over the revival gauntlets and just like with infantry archers have another archer attack piece for the gloves called the dragon's breath van braces and this is more stats than the revival and it is part of a set which will get you a bonus and you could put your, your iconic crystal in this one instead of the Ian's choice so there's literally no reason to ever go for Ian's choice in my opinion when you just have a better thing to go for so keep the revival gauntlets until you can get the set pieces uh the set piece for dragon's breath and then you're chilling you're fine there's no reason to be tempted by the Ian's choice now ironically for cavalry it is actually the opposite okay and I made a mistake in my cavalry guide and I can't believe I made it because if you look here I literally have two Navarre's control okay Navarre's control is one of the best gloves in the entire game it might be the best gloves in the game so I know that but I mistakenly said in my cavalry guide that you should go for the set gloves that's not true okay it's just flat up I misspoke even though I knew better I literally crafted the right thing I've never crafted this don't craft the armband of the hellish wasteland now this one isn't as bad as the sacred grips or the inch choice but here you get cavalry defense whereas Navarre's control gives you cavalry health and it gives you more of it okay eight percent health versus seven point five percent defense it's just a better choice to go for the health stat over the defense stat so in this case you might as well plus it's actually easier to get your hands on Navarre's control okay you can get this from your equipment keys I actually have a blueprint left over even though I've already crafted it twice which means I can start to work on a special talent here which is really great so don't craft the armband of the hellish wasteland it's really not worth it you can build a four-piece cavalry set without the gloves no problem and finally the wailing wolves gauntlets what is this brother it's so cool looking but it's so bad siege defense siege march speed bro oh my god you gotta spend at least 100 grand on rise of kingdoms to consider this it's such a joke it's so sad how bad this is now I will say that we are going to talk about the wolf set a lot in this video uh and if you're watching this video in the future 6 12 24 months from now okay take a look at the upload date there might be some giga chad overpowered ranged commanders in the game and if that's the case the wolf set is probably the way to go all right but at the time we're recording this we have bobber and we have margaret and they're an absolute joke and if you're not using them you're not using siege to fight and that means that this is an absolute waste of 40 legendary materials do not ever craft this please moving on to the legs we got a lot to talk about in the legs section here okay first of all tacits of the war god 12 percent archer attack you should not be getting your hands on this okay i know that it's free i have three blueprints you'll get them over time if you get really lucky with your keys but again the archers have the revival set okay so getting your archer defense here is just way better than getting your archer attack i think you get like 
what nine and a half percent or ten percent archer defense here when you get the special talent plus you get the set bonuses as well look I'm still using this on my Boudica it's way cheaper than spending 60 legendary materials on Tassus of the War God for just some archer attack it's just not worth it and if you do want legendary legs you have the dragon's breath tacits now it is one percent less attack but it's a set piece so you're going to get some bonus stats anyway you might as well just hang on to your revival greaves uh on the leg slot until you can get the the dragon's breath legs because passes to the war god absolute waste next we're going to talk about the greaves of the eternal empire okay this is a laughing stock this is an absolute joke for infantry players because you have first of all Kurok's humility is literally better it's actually just literally a better piece it's an epic piece of equipment 10 and a half percent infantry health with the talent compared to 11 percent infantry attack this is literally this is a joke okay this is a joke never ever ever get this okay if you want to get legendary legs for infantry you can get eternal light and even that is not a great idea it's really not okay um if uh, you know I've done some simulation testing I've had the eternal light for a while I've had car humility for a while the eternal light performs maybe like five percent better maybe three percent better than the Karox humility with the special talent okay assuming that you don't have a talent on the eternal light it's just not worth it so don't get the eternal light but really never get the greaves of the eternal empire like yes eventually you'll get eternals night as a micro optimization in the late 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 game but greaves this is an absolute joke never get this next up is tacits of the hellish wasteland this is an actual joke this is another set piece typically set pieces are good because you get set bonuses but not for legs apparently not for legs this is just not I mean cavalry attack when your alternative is 12 percent health on ash of the dawn this is way better and even yet the gladiator with the special talent gets you 10 and a half percent cavalry health why would you ever go for 11 percent cavalry attack when you can get 10 and a half percent cavalry health at a much 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 cheaper material cost and a cheaper gold cost and the blueprints are way easier to obtain there's no reason to ever get tacits at hellish wasteland in my opinion i know it's a set piece but it, you just have two better options and both of them are easier to get and one of them is literally like infinitely cheaper so Tasks to the hellish wasteland actual joke and the last piece of legs we're going to talk about here is the lone wolf leather leather tacits I mean do I even have to say anything just no okay just no next we'll talk about the boots and we're going to start with the mountain crushers okay eight percent cavalry attack why why would you do that you have better options the cloud racers gets you 7.5 percent cavalry attack which is half a percent less for like a quarter of the price it's actually way cheaper 40 legendary materials compared to 40 epic materials that's way cheaper okay for basically the same stats it's actually a joke to get the mountain crushers don't ever do it it makes absolutely no sense and also the set boots the hellish wasteland boots are way better than anything else you got 7.5 percent cavalry health that is such a premium piece it's way better not only is the set the bonus here better but you get a set bonus as well it's so much better these are way these are the best in slot obviously so the mountain crushers are a huge waste you could just use cloud racers it'll be on the battlefield virtually identical to the mountain crushers and you could just basically wait until you can get boots of the hellish wasteland and you're good to go you'll save a bunch of materials shio's return is basically the exact same scenario except for infantry okay eight percent infantry defense versus the purple frost treads seven and a half percent infantry defense with the special talent it's a quarter of the material cost it's one third the gold cost it is so obvious that the shio's return are pointless okay just stick with your frost treads and I know you want to put an icon of crystal in there but you could basically just use the frost treads until you get your sturdy boots of the eternal empire and yes it will be literally a side upgrade the same amount of infantry defense except the difference here is that this is a set piece okay and you can put the uh, icon of crystal here which would be a pretty good use of an icon of crystal because it gives you health so yeah don't craft shio's a turn I know you're tempted I know that you can get them pretty easily the blueprints but it's just not worth it just go for the set boots that's that's my opinion next up is the commander boots and honestly these look really cool but they're not good it's the same thing all three boots that you can get from the chests for for every troop type actual trash literal garbage you should basically run purple boots on every army that you that you have until you can get the set boots because this gets you eight percent archer attack which 
the flame treads get you seven and a half percent archer health way better it's literally just better I, it's actually better statistically than the commander's boots and this costs significantly more materials it's an absolute joke never craft the commander's boots and if you do want to craft boots go for dragon's breath this is where you can put your iconic crystal if you want more health you'll get a set bonus eventually but even still like flame treads compared to the uh like for point for point I'd rather have the seven and a half percent archer health than the seven and a half percent archer defense right you only get this when you're like working on basically a special talent right that's at least my opinion but certainly the commander boots are out of the question this is a waste of materials and finally roaring wolves claws they look awesome they're an actual joke never craft these unless you're watching two years from now and ranged is op next we're going to talk about some accessories now here's the thing with accessories none of them are like useless okay they all do something and the accessory slot is it's pretty universal okay so none of these are like actual trash but there is a massive opportunity cost and these are some of the most expensive pieces to craft in the entire game so you probably should avoid these four accessories that we're going to talk about and the first one is seth's call i just don't see a world where you're going to run seth's call okay yes it's technically supportive but um attack percentage as an aoe buff uh i don't think so the accessory slot is extremely premium the opportunity cost here is insane would you rather have a seth's call or would you rather have a ring of doom the choice here is obvious or horn of fury the choice here is obvious you, there's no room for seth's call in your seven march lineup pretty much in my opinion uh it seems like a waste to me lucky coin scolas is lucky coin this was the original accessory in rise of kingdoms you got this from uh winning kvk you actually might still get it that way uh yeah you well, you, of course you get it for season of conquest but yeah this has been in the game forever uh it's not a good piece okay it is super situational it is so so niche there was an argument to use it with an expertise guan Yu a long time ago uh and it's just it's sorry i can't even look at it i gotta take my glasses off that's how bad it is uh just don't craft it guys it's not worth the legendary materials okay especially like wasting your season coins on this just don't do it Golas is lucky coin yeah the shield is cool but it's not it's so random like no just no next we'll talk about Moore's web now this is one that I actually crafted okay I liked the slowdown on this at the time of crafting it because I'm infantry or I was uh infantry main I made a video talking about why I'm not anymore check that out on the channel but the problem with Moore's web these days is that um the opportunity cost is really high okay first of all you're reducing the enemy defense by four percent stacks three times you look at the dagger reduces their health by five percent stacks three times so clearly for point for point concealed dagger is just better uh and then when it comes to slowdown right like you could get a nice slowdown on on cavalry however since Moore's web came out we've seen so many commanders come into the game that have slowdowns all on their own Richard has a March speed reduction William has a March speed reduction Ethel Flett has a chance to slow down the target Saladin has a March speed reduction Hua Chibing has a March speed reduction Honda Tadakatsu has a March speed reduction I think you guys uh, get the point here okay there are so many commanders in the game that have March speed reductions that you really just don't need the March speed reduction on Moore's web you might as well get the you might as well get the concealed dagger if you want a stat debuff on your accessory slot so really Moore's web there's I mean from my perspective I just don't see a reason to craft it anymore finally we're going to talk about greatest glory uh greatest glory is literally just outclassed by vengeance it it simply is okay vengeance gives you eight percent counter attack damage greatest glory gives you five percent normal attack damage and you might be saying okay well normal attack damage also bumps up your counter attack damage so it's kind of like a two for one but when you consider the number of you know enemies that would be swarming you you could just do the math and you'll see that you know eight scales much faster than five and it's actually just better to get vengeance just statistically there's so few scenarios where greatest glory would be better uh literally it's like 1v1s okay greatest glory is better in 1v1s than vengeance but when are you ever dueling in this game literally never so there's really no reason to get greatest glory especially when you consider that five percent normal attack damage is like very vanilla and you could be getting a ring of doom instead or you could be popping off your skills faster with horn of fury or you could be debuffing their health like there's just such an opportunity cost here to using the greatest glory it's just there's there's no reason if you really want something get vengeance and even vengeance is pretty much uh out of the question like this is used by um players who are going to launch a rally that they don't want swarmed that's pretty much like the only time players use vengeance or if they have like a pakal herald from back in the day and they crafted a vengeance for it like yeah that is 
that's the, the one art army you would maybe use this on right uh but even this is super niche but at least there's like one example or a couple examples i can give you there's really no example i can give you for greatest glory in my opinion uh you're almost always better off with something else in that slot even Karox war drums gives your uh, allies extra rage so yeah just don't get greatest glory okay now I almost included pendant of the eternal light here and I really don't think players should be crafting this either but I don't know enough about I'm gonna be honest I just don't know enough about this piece I don't know if anyone uses this for anything so this is a little bonus one you probably shouldn't craft pendant of the eternal light I just don't know 100 for certain but if you ask me in a five or seven army lineup I would not use a single one of these uh, that's just me uh, my entire five or seven army lineup would be using uh, mostly rings of doom a couple of horn of furies I'd probably have two or three daggers uh, and maybe like one war drums or something like that uh, so like these pieces just I I would I would never use them just 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 don't okay they're too expensive look at how many look at the materials here 120 legendary materials for this dude what do you mean that's so much that's a joke don't do it it's trash anyway that's gonna do it for the video guys hopefully there aren't too many pieces of equipment that you've crafted in this video if there are comment down below which one of these i'm sure you've crafted at least one piece i talked about i'm guilty okay i told you about the ones i've crafted let me know in the comments section below which mistakes you've made and we can maybe all feel better together about our shared misery while you're down there drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it and consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video just a reminder there's a link in the description to the giveaway you might as well enter if you're already subbed just en enter the giveaway i'm not selling your data to anybody it's literally just i'm giving away free money so just join the giveaway you might as well with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace